The phrase positive lifestyle choices has caught on widely in recent years, and the intention to improve daily lifestyle choices has sunk in with millions of people. The wellness movement is expanding every year, which is an encouraging development. What is needed now isn't more good advice, but rather two different things motivation and the ability to undo poor lifestyle choices that cling from the past. Let's explore how to create an optimal lifestyle and then join Deepak in meditation. Before the wellness movement was really able to take hold, the concept of lifestyle needed a radical shift. This shift began with going beyond the old system of prevention. The risk factors of prevention are something we all know. Avoiding alcohol and cigarettes, eating a healthy, balanced diet, getting enough regular exercise. But prevention had a built-in flaw. It was motivated by fear. If your lifestyle choices led to high risk factors, you would become more afraid of a potential illness or death. Fear is a poor motivator, so a huge gap developed between people knowing the risks and their actual lifestyle, which continued to be stressful, overloading the autonomic nervous system, triggering stress hormones, not prioritizing sleep, and so on. A better motivator for change was necessary and it came by offering up a vision of a better lifestyle. This gave people a reason to optimize their daily lives. Being told that you consume too much sugar and fast food is negative. Being told that a Mediterranean diet is a healthier way to eat provides a positive incentive instead. Motivating yourself is half of an optimal lifestyle. The other half is undoing bad habits that cling from the past. Undoing, for most people, revolves around behaviors related to poor sleep, sedentary habits, improper diet, and daily stress. None of this can be changed simply by good intentions. Few of us really need to hear one more time what's good or bad for us. What's needed instead is guidance about how to change. It's important to recognize the ways you typically respond that don't work. For example, by making change a matter of willpower, attacking the whole problem all at once, working in fits and starts, losing heart when you experience a setback, and comparing yourself to others who you imagine are doing better than you. These self-defeating attempts are pretty common throughout a person's life. The opposite of defeat is victory, so let's begin there. Take anything you want to undo, poor eating habits or lack of sleep, and focus on achieving a small victory every day. Saying no to dessert, making your bedroom a quiet, soothing environment, walking away from a stressful situation, and standing up to stretch and walk around every hour are examples of small victories you can immediately achieve. The second guideline is just as important. Don't make any change you don't enjoy. Anything that feels like work won't lead to lasting change. Experiences that are tedious or unpleasant won't lead to change either. You naturally gravitate towards things you desire. I don't mean huge unachievable goals like a perfect body. To enjoy being here in your body right now is better than an imaginary physical perfection. Just make sure that when you make a change, you are able to say, this feels nice. Between these two tactics, achieving small victories and enjoying every change, you can personalize an optimal lifestyle that will become second nature because you like the changes you've made. In meditation, you get the ultimate enjoyment, which is inner peace, a quiet mind, and bliss. The same experience should be cultivated in your active life too, starting now. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. 
I welcome change with joy and acceptance. I welcome change with joy and acceptance. Now, let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra, Yum. Yum. This mantra helps you remain open and accepting to being fully in the present moment. Living in the now, you can release the past and embrace the present with an open heart. Repeat it silently to yourself. Yum. Yum. With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open into an expanded state of awareness. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. I'll mind the time and you'll hear a soft bell at the beginning and end of the meditation. Yum. Yum. Yum.
It's time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate the centering thought. I welcome change with joy and acceptance. I welcome change with joy and acceptance. Namaste.